refused to be categorized, and her music was universal. We don't fit neatly into those little boxes. When you are like Olivia or myself, and you sing a lot of different styles of music, uh, it's impossible to categorize you, really. At the 1975 Grammy Awards, I Honestly Love You was chosen as 1974's Record of the Year. With opportunity beckoning in the States, Olivia left England and relocated to Los Angeles. My love life wasn't going too well. My career wasn't going too well in England. I had a hit in America, and it was like, it wasn't too easy to make the decision to move. And the first place I visited was New York. That was pretty shocking. And I went to a department store, and some lady says, what do you want? And I remember like, oh, I was like weeping, leaving the shop because I, I couldn't believe it. I thought she was upset with me that I'd done something wrong, but it was just, you know, that was New York. <laughs> I just wasn't used to it. By the end of 1976, all of America knew Olivia's name. But the following year, her career would take a major turn that would transform her into an international superstar. I frequently had dinner parties for eight. She was invited to one of them, uh, to which I'd also invited Alan Carr, who was casting for Greece. I had never met her in person. I'd never seen her perform. Well, by the time dessert came, I offered the part. I mean, she was so delightful at dinner. She was everything that the part was. Hi Helen, congratulations. I'm so sorry I can't be there with you tonight. You certainly deserve this because without you paving the way, me and the other girls wouldn't have had a chance. So I just wanted to uh, wish you well with tonight and say thank you for your encouragement to me because without you I wouldn't have moved to America. So you have been very important in my life and I want to thank you for all that you've done for me and for all the other girls and congratulations on tonight.